We're here in the world's most isolated city, Perth, West Australia, on a beautiful spring day. Most people will assume quality of life doesn't get much better than this, but you'd be wrong. Despite our tiny population, our air quality is terrible. This is the real-time air quality monitor which anyone can access. For those that aren't aware, nitrogen dioxide, NO2, is a poisonous gas at any concentration and is only created by burning fossil fuels. The government sets the maximum allowable concentration of this gas at 15 parts per billion. Right now, it's way above this, but what really counts is the average concentration over the year, which was 16 parts per billion in 2023. This means every living creature, including you, your children and your pets, are being poisoned with every breath at levels above what all medical opinion is deemed safe. Despite this, our government continues to increase fossil fuel subsidies to a tune of $57 billion in 2023, whilst providing almost negligible funding towards electrification of our transport network. So we are driving an off-the-shelf electric truck that emits zero toxic emissions around Australia to bring attention to this insanity and demonstrate there is a practical alternative available today. If you want to live, you should be demanding a dramatic shift to cleaner air. Using petrol and diesel cars these days, all the fuel comes from overseas. So it's leaving Australia in a very high risk of uh, price increases as the fuel becomes scarce. Everybody's competing with it to get electric cars because they're cleaner, they're more efficient, and it reduces our reliance on imported oil, which is just so important for Australia. Dr Melville Smith says the switch in cars eliminates the risk of pests becoming sick from exhaust fumes.
not a noise at all. That is so weird. That's the future of trucking. <laughs>